Hey everyone, Tio here. In this video, I'm reviewing the Huion K20 Keydown Mini, which is a compact keyboard shortcut remote that you can use with Windows, Mac OS, iPads, and Android tablets. Let me give you the bottom line up front. The wireless connection you can get with this is Bluetooth 5. I like how compact this is, so you can place this beside your tablet, and this is not going to take up much table space. This works really well with Windows and Mac OS. The main downside is the customization you can get with the driver for iPad and Android tablets is extremely limited compared to what you can get with Windows and Mac OS. This is something I can recommend if you use Windows and Mac OS, but not if you use iPads and Android tablets, at least with the current versions of iPad and Android drivers that I have tested. More on that later. Right, let's take a look at the items included with the purchase. Retail price for the Huion K20 Keydown Mini is US $69. So that's the keyboard remote, some stickers, the quick start guide, and this USB-A to USB-C charging cable. Here's a closer look at the stickers. The shortcuts are actually the same, it's just that these are more colorful. I happen to have the previous model as well, the KD100, and you can see the design is almost identical with very slight differences. This top part here has a darker gray compared to this lighter gray, and there are some blue labels on the keys. And this uses Bluetooth 5, and this uses 2.4 GHz wireless connection with this USB-A receiver that you have to connect to your computer. The whole thing is made with plastic, so it definitely feels plasticky. The build quality is solid enough. That's the power button on the right side. So now the light is blinking, which means it's looking for a connection, and it takes a while for this to connect. It's quite thin, and it's very lightweight, and the size is quite compact and you can hold this easily in one hand if you want to. At the top is the USB-C connector. The battery life is rated for 70 hours, and this keyboard remote can still be used while it's charging. That's the dial with audible feedback, and there is this button in the middle that allows you to switch between the three shortcuts that you can assign to this dial. There's a total of 18 keys, and these are all customizable. The keys are not backlit, and on some of the keys there are little blue labels. The keys have good travel and feedback. So the overall tactile experience you can get with the Huion K20 is pretty good. Let's see what you can do with the Windows and Mac OS driver, which have very similar functionality. So this is the Windows driver. If you happen to be using another Huion pen tablet or pen display, you will be using the same driver. You can switch between the settings for the pen tablet or display with this drop-down menu at the bottom. So let's see. This is where you can customize the dial. You can tap on this and look at the three options here. So you can customize specific keyboard shortcuts or pre-programmed shortcuts to the dial. And you can customize all the 18 buttons here. Just tap on the buttons and go into the settings to input your own keyboard shortcuts or choose from the pre-programmed shortcuts. It is also possible to create a group of shortcuts specific to the app you use. The LED brightness here refers to the brightness of the light for the logo. And if you don't want to use the dial, you can disable it here. This is the dial sensitivity, and this is the sleep time. So after 15 minutes of inactivity, the keyboard remote will go to sleep. You can change that to 30 minutes or one hour. The battery life is indicated at the bottom right here. And now let's look at the customization you can get with iPad driver version 1.0.0. At the time of making this video, the dial is not customizable. To customize the buttons, you can tap on the buttons. Unfortunately, you can only choose from the pre-programmed shortcuts that are available here for the four apps that Huion has picked for you. Procreate, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Fresco, and Clip Studio Paint. And even for these four apps, you only get this limited number of shortcuts, which you cannot 
customize you can only select from the options available here so you can't tap and enter your own keyboard shortcuts if you're thinking of buying this keyboard remote to work with procreate or some other drawing apps that you have on the ipad this is not a product i can recommend at the time of this review at least with the ipad driver version 1.0.0 there's a button somewhere that allows you to send feedback to Huion and I'm going to tell them to let us enter our own keyboard shortcuts and create shortcut groups for apps that we choose. This is Android driver version 1.2.6 and it's very buggy. I have tested the driver on this Huawei Mate Pad tablet and also on my Samsung Tab S8 Ultra tablet. And usually the driver is not able to find a keyboard remote or it can find a keyboard remote but when I try to customize the button the driver will just crash so right now I don't really have anything to say about the Android driver except that it doesn't really work and now let's see how well this keyboard remote works before you can use this you will need to pair this with your computer or tablet with Bluetooth and to do that just press the power button and it will go into pairing mode instantly so this has already been paired with this Windows tablet, which by the way is the Huion Canvas Studio 16, which I have reviewed recently. I have already customized all the shortcuts here. So let me show you the shortcuts. I have brush here. So the line is quite thin. Let me use the dial to adjust the brush size to something that is much thicker or even thicker than that and you can switch between the functionality for the dial by pressing the button in the middle so let me just switch to this for zooming in and out let me switch back to the brush size let me switch to eraser which is e again this eraser is quite thin let me just make this much thicker you can use a combination of keys as well for example i have Control a here and Control x to cut you can use a combination of three keys as well for example i have control space to zoom in control alternate space to zoom out one thing i like about this driver is when you switch drawing apps the shortcuts that you have created for that app will load automatically for example right now i'm using concepts and i have this button number three assigned to this field too if I switch over to Medibank Paint Pro, this button is actually the eraser button. And if I switch back to Concepts again, this button goes back to the shortcuts that I've created for Concepts, which is the View 2. So as I press these eight buttons, see how the tools switch here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this keyboard remote allows me to work really fast with this app which already supports finger gestures it's just that sometimes when you want to use certain shortcuts or functions within the menus it's actually faster to use a shortcut key here let me just call out the color wheel to change this color to something that is brighter and switch back to this darker green color to color this and now I can switch to this color to add the highlights. Let me switch to the gray to color this part here. And here, and here, and here. And let me tap this to open the color wheel again to choose something darker to color the darker areas. So this allows me to work really quickly. So how useful really is this keyboard remote compared to an actual keyboard? Well, the thing with an actual keyboard is sometimes you have to stretch your fingers to reach certain keyboard shortcut combinations. But here you can assign those combinations to a single key. So that's quite convenient. If you don't mind having your keyboard by the side like this, the shortcut remote is probably not necessary because you can already get all your shortcuts from the keyboard. Or if you have space in front of your tablet, you can always place the keyboard here. It's just that this is going to take up less space on the table and if you need to 
have something that is portable that you can bring around together with your tablet yeah this is definitely way more portable compared to a keyboard like this so is this worth the money well you can decide based on the findings that i have presented all i can say currently is it works well with windows and mac os not as well for ipad and android tablets and if you are interested to buy this consider using the affiliate links that i have for you in the video description below to support the work that i do here on this youtube channel all right see you guys in the next video bye